no time to rest. No time to rest.
Okay, so that was a quick demonstration, albeit it's not perfect, but it's what I do when I don't have CDJs. Okay, so let's see what I've recorded. Uh, we'll go to this screen. And as you'll see, I have some automations showing up here. When you look at the automations, it has everything to do with... Uh, any movement that I made here on my controller. If there's something crucial that needs to be adjusted before, like for a podcast or something like that, I can do it. I actually didn't have too much of a problem with that mix, but what I would do is I would listen through the whole thing again, check to make sure that everything that I programmed with my effects is right as far as uh EQ levels and whatnot. Like if I look at my devices, let's go here, even, then I can dig a little bit deeper. I can go in here and say, you know what? I really don't like how that EQ sounded. I'm going to adjust how the, the low pass or the high pass, like maybe I want to change the rate or the cue or something like that. Uh, because I thought it sounded too swishy or whatever. Uh, those are things that can be adjusted later. Uh, let's say you accidentally hit the crossfader. Uh, and like, I think there was a point where I, I feel like I went too much with the crossfader at that point. Do I want to re-record the entire mix because I accidentally dropped out the cross, you know, the volume, uh, for two seconds? No, no, actually I don't. Uh, so I'm a lot about working smarter and not harder. So what I might do is I might go in here and say, okay, look, the crossfader, where was, where did that jump happen? Okay. There's one there. Looks like I did something dramatic there. I would listen to this section again. And if I wanted to change that, I could, um, I can drag this out a little bit more. And I can say, okay, uh, this whole thing, I'm going to just make it less drastic. Oops. Yeah, you have to make it bigger. But you can highlight this whole area and just kind of drag it down or fix it however you see you need to fix it. Obviously, I'm not doing it perfect right now, but I just want to show you that you can do it. I can bring that down like that. Whatever. Maybe just to not make it so drastic or whatever. Uh, but... In general, what I have here is exactly what I just performed, okay? Um, I'm a big fan of, like, especially if I want to record a DJ mix that I did while I was at the club. Uh, before I record, I always kind of hit that button and then stop it real quick before it actually starts recording because now it's armed and it's ready to go. So as soon as I push any clip, when I'm ready to just get going with it, as soon as I push that clip, we're already recording. And then one thing I would say is please make sure that all of these areas are open. For example, there have been times where I didn't, I wasn't recording because, uh, somehow, uh, this section was closed and, and these, uh, the A deck and the B deck were closed, uh, somehow. So always test your recording before you go. Make sure the necessary windows are open uh, and that automation actually shows up. And then when you play the whole thing back by, rem you know, you click this button here and now you can play back here. So I'm just going to disarm the record and hit play. Okay, it's at the end. So let's go to the beginning. No time to rest. And if I fat, so I'm going to fast forward to a section where I see some automation and we'll hear it. And you can see on this screen, you'll see that anything that is lighting up red is something that uh, was recorded as automation. See that? Okay, so that moved. Okay. 
All right. So that's what I have to show you. Thanks for watching.